Yeah, with uh, temperatures like that, we're definitely going to be cranking the AC. And Eric uh, Guyton is here from Ghetto Air Conditioning to tell us uh, some tips that uh, we may need to uh, kind of keep in mind as we get into these hot summer months and some things that we can do to make sure that we're cranking out cold air and, <laughs> and, and not uh, getting the heat uh, pouring on us uh, inside, the, uh, inside the apartments. Definitely. Tell us definitely. what's going on and how we can check our air conditionings. So... One big thing that, that every homeowner can do uh, is making sure they keep up on their air filters. Right. That's why I brought these two guys uh, to show you an example of a dirty one and a clean one. This is like when you get your oil changed. That the, <laughs> they always point out every time, no matter if it's clean or dirty or not, change your air filter. Right, right. <laughs> it, it is, it's, it's very big. So, you know, a, a dirty air filter will, will cause poor airflow, can cause the unit to freeze up, mm -hmm. uh, can cause uh, components to, to wear out prematurely. So keeping a clean air filter is very important, not only for the system, but for you. All the dust and dirt on this thing, then you start breathing that stuff in, mm -hmm. so then the air quality... Now, is this something down. that people can do themselves, or they got to call somebody to come out? And Definitely not. Them. People yeah. can do this themselves. Uh, you know, you just, depending on your home, is, is how high of uh, air filter you can use. Like they're rated in MERV rating, so the higher the rating, the more restrictive, but they catch more things the higher the rating as well. Uh, what are some other tips to keep us cool? Other tips to keep you cool, the, the, the best thing would be smartphone thermostats mm -hmm. uh, like, like we have there. Uh, that way you can control the thermostat uh, you know, on the fly when you're not home. Uh, it's a learning thermostat, so it will work to be more energy efficient and cool the house down so it's comfortable by the time you get home as opposed to trying to cool the house down at the heat of the day. And very convenient. Everything now you can pretty much work from your phone. So Everything from And your then phone. you can make sure, like, if, if you did have it a little low while you're out and you're like, I don't want to be, you know, having it too cool while I'm not there, you can adjust it from your phone and then have it then cool up by the time you get definitely back home. definitely so that that's one thing ceiling fans mm -hmm. you know simple things most houses have ceiling fans having those things run all day uh, you know in the summer you want to feel the air being pushed down on you in the winter you want the air to be pulled mm -hmm. up so you know just there's a little switch on them where you change right. the direction but you want to make sure all the ceiling fans are run that'll help circulate the air and help keep it cool now i heard some debate about ceiling fans whether you should leave them on or only have them on when you're actually underneath them I would have them on at all times. Yeah, could really circulate that. You really air. circulate the air in the home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, and, but but again, the, these filters are, are one of the main things. That, that, filters are the yeah. main things, and and having regular maintenance, especially getting your air conditioning tuned up before the summer begins, is key. Well, Eric, thanks so much for joining us, and great tips to help keep us cool during these hot summer months. We're going to have more news and weather coming up after the break.